Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and in this video I'd like to show you how to make handwritten notes in Google Keep. Now, handwritten notes has been supported in Google Keep on mobile devices like phones and tablets for a while, but I recently noticed that it was available on web devices as well. That doesn't mean it wasn't there the whole time, I just noticed it recently. Uh, so by web devices, I mean any devices that can access a website. So things like touchscreen Chromebooks, this could be really awesome for making some handwritten notes on. So how do we get a handwritten note? Well, uh, you're familiar with Google Keep and we can just take a note here but to get the handwritten part, I can click on the paintbrush icon on the right hand side of that box and it's going to open up this space where I can add my drawing. Uh, alternatively, if I have a note that's already been started, you can open up the note and click the three little dots for more and say add a drawing. Wonderful! Now, in this little space, I see some uh, options across the top. The first is a pen that's kind of like a fountain pen that I can write with uh, and it does its thing. And the drop down next to all of these commands you can see control both the color and the size, the stroke of the brush. Uh, the next one is more like a Sharpie marker where it doesn't have that you know swipe of a, um, a fountain pen. Uh, and then there is a highlighter that is all pretty darn awesome. And again, you can control the color and size of all of these. One thing that's neat to point out with the eraser is I can simply say clear the entire page, which is great. But I know some erasers, you have to erase the entire line to make it go away. But with the Google Keep Eraser, you simply swipe across the line and it erases, which is pretty darn awesome. Another thing we wanted to show you was you can add in backgrounds here and I can add in a square background, dots, rules or have it just be plain blank. So I could see this being great for like math graphs or any kind of graph for that matter. Uh, here we can do our geometric figures and rules, uh, lines just making it a little bit easier to write. What's, what's great about this background, it does support pinch to zoom and if I were to write, you know, hello, uh, that is active. So when I zoom out, the writing stays in the same proportions as the lines did, so it doesn't like blow it out. Um, you have a select tool here if you wanted to select things, that's all good. Uh, another thing, if you're kind of familiar with Smart Notebook, um, you know, I can see I can scroll down and I hit the bottom of my note where I can't go any further, but if I write, all of a sudden I can go a little bit further until I hit the bottom and then I write and I can, so it's kind of that extend a page from Smart Notebook that we all loved so much. Uh, so I'm going to clear the page here real quick. Um, and so once I go back to the top and I get, whoops, get my drawing all set and it's good to go, I can click this arrow and it inserts that image back into the note. Uh, if I want to get rid of it, I can scroll to the bottom of the image and click this trash can and that would delete the image from the handwritten note from my Google Keep note. So there you go. That's how to do handwritten notes in Google Keep. If you have questions on this or anything else EdTech related, please feel free to email me at rbray at btboses.org. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel to receive updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.